Yeah, we've got chapter 11 and Miss Breitenbach asks Lin and a friend of her choice to tidy the prop's room. Mimi helps her. The room is dusty and untidy and they pack the costumes into the boxes. So who is this friend? Mimi Spies, so Lin and Mimi. They are thick chums now, they're bras. And while the teacher is away from the girls, uh, they try on some of the costumes and wigs. So this is a very nice chapter. Uh, Julia Roberts, Sonner Dimont. So, you know, Julia Roberts, she's very famous for her mouth. And uh, they laugh and Lynn enjoys the fun and she feels quite content here. We're back at the salon now. Dirkie and Donovan are still grumps with each other. Sue Ellen, she's given birth. Her and the baby arrive at the salon and she tells Dirkie and Donovan how difficult it is with a crying baby. And yeah, Sue Ellen and Donovan, they begin to whisper to each other and they stop quite guiltily when Lynn returns because yeah, this means Sue Ellen is back Eternity leave is over. She wants a job back. And Lin, well, unfortunately, will be unemployed. Dirki sits to one side, saying nothing. At closing time, Donovan informs Lin that Sue Ellen will be back at work on Monday. Someone will take care of the baby. Not like Lin really cares. You know, I don't have a job anymore. Now you're telling me someone is going to look after this woman's baby? Like, how does that affect me? You know what I mean? Speaking fast. So they will still sponsor the cricket team and cut Lin's hair for free every second month. And Lynn asks not, asks Donovan not to call her Engel. Engel means angel. Like, yeah, stop calling me Engel now. Like, yeah, like, I don't like it. On their way home, Dirki tells Lynn that he could not prevent her losing her job. And Donovan is actually the majority shareholder in the business. So ultimately, it was his decision. Lynn consults a travel agency about the possibility of going to London, doing a bit of work there. But she does need 10k for the ticket, visa and insurance, as well as 20,000 in her account temporarily as proof that she'll be able to take care of herself. Now, the agency will assist Lin in finding employment and accommodation, as well as opening up a bank account when she's there. And Lin realizes that she needs a job urgently. So, guys, desperation. It's breeding a beast here. Lin will probably have to turn now to the streets to make ends meet.